A few months ago, I shared a video where I looked at some of the most popular nutrition myths out there and revealed why nutritionists who are spreading those myths are lying to you. In that first video, I shed light on things like eating fruits and whole grains, overloading on protein and giving up fatty foods, all popular nutrition myths that are dead wrong. And you had a lot of amazing feedback on that video because my subscribers want to know the truth about health and wellness, even if the truth is the opposite of what they know. So today, I put together another video to debunk more nutrition myths. But first, I've got a question for you. What health and wellness topics do you have questions about? This channel was created to help you live a long, healthy life. So I wanna know how to help you best. So go ahead and leave a comment below to tell me what you want to learn more about. Then make sure to keep an eye on this channel to see when your question is featured. Anyway, back to these nutrition myths, starting with one that makes big money for food companies. Number one, you need electrolytes after you work out. You've seen the commercials, athletes running for miles, then chugging a neon blue electrolyte filled sports drink, or people at the gym drinking coconut water for the electrolytes, of course. Maybe you wanted to be like Mike in the 90s and picked your beverage accordingly. Sure, those drinks tasted pretty good, and advertisers have done a remarkable job positioning them as essential to athletic performance. But the truth about those synthetic electrolyte drinks, and even the more natural ones, is this. You don't need sports drinks to stay hydrated. Now, maybe you've noticed them giving you a boost of energy. Well, I've got news for you. That's not the electrolytes. That's the sugar. I'm serious. Those healthy sports drinks are loaded in sugar. Not great for anyone who wants to feel their best. Seriously, they just counteract the great workout you just had. It's so not worth it. But what if you're really working out hard and sweating up a storm? Are you actually throwing your electrolytes out of balance? Well, maybe. In fact, some experts swear that you need to replenish electrolytes throughout your workout. But honestly, that depends on how hard you're working out and your diet and a number of other factors. So if you've hit the gym hard, start by rehydrating yourself the old fashioned way with good old water. Now, if you do find yourself feeling a little lightheaded or loopy, even after drinking water, you might need a little more of a boost. And the best place to start with is sodium chloride. That's right iodized table salt. Mix a little bit of salt into your water or just eat a hard-boiled egg with salt. You'll feel better fast. And you won't cancel out your workout with a water bottle full of sugar either. And yes, up above I mentioned a hard-boiled egg as a great post-workout fuel. Which brings me to nutrition myth number two. Number two myth, egg yolks are bad for you. I know, I know, the classic weight loss breakfast is an egg white omelet. It's true, egg whites are high in protein and low in calories. While egg yolks have a bad reputation thanks to the cholesterol content in the yolks, the truth about eggs is this. Eating food with high cholesterol will not give you high cholesterol. And if you're someone who throws out the egg yolk, and just eat the white, you're throwing out the healthiest part of the egg. In fact, the bulk of the nutrients in eggs are found in the yolks, including vitamins, minerals, and the healthy omega fats that keep you vibrant as you age. In fact, I suggest making your omelets with more yolks than whites. Not only will your breakfast be more delicious in my opinion, but they'll be more nutrient rich. Now, Speaking of breakfast, let's talk about myth number three. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now, I'm not going to tell you to skip breakfast every day because breakfast is delicious. But the truth of the matter is you can skip breakfast and live a healthy, long life. 
In fact, the healthiest people do skip their morning meals pretty regularly. And you know what? They're fine. Because the time you eat doesn't matter. At least not as much as what you eat. So for best results, I suggest eating breakfast some days and skipping it other times. In fact, that's the basic premise behind intermittent fasting, which keeps your body on its toes and may even support weight loss and longevity. So look into intermittent fasting and don't feel pressure to eat a big meal or any meal first thing in the morning. Now, one of the hottest topics in nutrition is actually one of my favorite things to talk about and eat. Carbs, which brings me to myth number four. You should eat as few carbs as possible. Now, I've done a full video talking about this, but it's too important to ignore. So it's worth mentioning again. There's no such thing as a no-carb diet, at least not a well-balanced one. In fact, some of the most nutritious foods on the planet, including those leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables, contain carbs. Not to mention polyphenol-rich fruit, resistant starches like sweet potatoes, and just about anything that isn't pure fat. So unless you're somehow getting away with just drinking olive oil and not eating any solid food, you're eating carbs. And you should be. Carbs are great for your health, provided you pick the right ones. Sure, you shouldn't be eating cake, candy, or tons of bread. But don't be afraid of veggies in seasoned fruits or things like sorghum and millet. They're delicious, and they'll support your health rather than destroying it. Now, before I go, there's one last health myth I've got to bust. Because it's one of my all-time favorite drinks, coffee. That's why I need to put this one to rest once and for all. Myth number five, coffee is bad for your health. Honestly, that couldn't be further from the truth. Coffee is fantastic for your health. It's incredibly rich in polyphenols to support your health. And studies have shown that coffee is great for everything from focus and energy, obviously, to blood sugar regulation is keeping you sharp as you age. It's a superfood, not a junk food. So why does coffee have such a bad reputation? Well, if you've ever looked at the nutrition labels on one of those blended drinks at the coffee shop, you may already know the answer. It's not the coffee, it's the stuff we add to it. Think A1 dairy, artificial flavoring, and tons of sugar. I'm serious. Some of these coffee shop drinks have as much sugar as a piece of pie or a scoop of ice cream. And people are drinking one, two, even three of them a day. Not great, right? So go ahead. Drink that coffee. Just drink it black. Or look for healthy ways to spice it up, like unsweetened coconut milk, a little stevia or cinnamon, or some fresh spices. And if you want to catch me busting even more health myths, check out some of the other videos right here on this channel. Or leave a comment to ask me a question. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.